Hi there, reception. It's Miss Beard here. Thank you for coming to my PSED lesson today. Now today, we're going to be discussing the choices made by Sue Potato and the evil P in our story. And we're going to be looking at if those choices are friendly choices or unfriendly choices. And then we're going to be helping the evil P to make the right choices. Do you think you can help me today? Excellent. Now, for our lesson today, you need to have a friendly face and an unfriendly face. You can use the ones that we sent you or you can make your own. If you don't want to make your own and you don't have the ones that we sent you, that's okay. You can use your facial expressions to show me friendly or unfriendly. Pause the video now so you can get your cards or you can practice your friendly face or your unfriendly face. Pause the video now. Okay, now we're all ready to start. I'm going to show you a picture from our story and you're going to tell me if it's a friendly choice or if it's an unfriendly choice. Let's have a look at my first picture. Pause the video now and tell your grown-up what's happening in our first picture. That's right, in our first picture, the evil pea has drawn on the broccoli's face. Is that friendly or unfriendly? That's right, it's very unfriendly. Pause the video now and talk to your helper about why that is unfriendly. That's right, reception. It's made the broccoli very, very sad. I wouldn't want someone to draw all over my face, would you? It would make me very, very sad. This has to go on our unfriendly side. Let's have another look. What's our next picture? Our next picture, uh-oh, what's happened? Pause the video now and tell your grown-up. That's right, in this picture, the evil pea has stuck the carrot to the conveyor belt. Is that friendly or unfriendly? It's very unfriendly, you're right. Pause the video now and talk to your helper about why this is an unfriendly choice. That's right, reception. The carrot doesn't want to be stuck down. The carrot can't move. The carrot might feel quite scared. It's a very unfriendly thing to do. It needs to go on our unfriendly side. Let's see what we've got next. What picture have we got next? Pause the video now. Right, oh, Sue Potato is coming to the rescue. Is this friendly or unfriendly? Pause the video now and talk to your helper. That's right, reception. It's very friendly. Sue Potato has decided to use his own time and his own strength to come and help all the vegetables. That's a very friendly thing to do. So it needs to go on our friendly side. It's very helpful. Oh, let's have another look. What's our next picture? Oh, what have we got here? Pause the video and tell your helper. That's right. Sue Potato is using his super speed to rescue the cucumber. Is this Friendly or unfriendly? That's right, it's very, very friendly. Pause the video now and tell your helper why this is friendly. That's right, reception. 
Sue Potato is being helpful again. He's also being very caring. The cucumber doesn't want to be stuck in all the toilet roll, so he's being very helpful and caring. Mr. Kwan, our friendly side. Let's have a look at what we've got next. Oh, what is happening here? What is the evil piece choice? Dear, oh dear me, the evil pea is forcing the veggie sticks to walk off the spoon into the hummus. Is that friendly or unfriendly? That's right, it's very unfriendly, isn't it? Can you pause the video and tell your helper why this is an unfriendly choice? That's right, reception. The veggie sticks didn't want to be marched off the end of the spoon and they might be feeling very scared that they're having to fall into the dip. Very unfriendly. I've got one more. Here we've got Soup Potato. What's he doing? Pause the video now and tell your helper. That's right. He's using his own time to clean the broccoli's face because he knows how sad the broccoli's feeling. Is that friendly or unfriendly? That's right. It's very friendly, isn't it? Thank you, reception. You've helped me to look at the choices between the evil pea and sea potato. Pause the video now and I want you to tell your helper what sea potato did to be friendly. That's right, reception. He came to help and he came to rescue. Then he used his own strength to take off all of the toilet roll. And here he was very kind and caring and he cleaned the face of the broccoli. Good job. But now, what did the evil pea do? What were his choices and why were they unfriendly? Pause the video now. That's right, reception. The evil pea made a lot of vegetables feel really sad and a little bit scared. His actions didn't make people feel happy and loved. No, they made them feel sad. So, the next part of our lesson, we're going to be looking at what the evil pea needs to change so that he becomes a bit more friendly. Do you think you can help me? We are going to make a special picture for the evil pea so that he can remind himself what he needs to do. So I'm going to give you the first one. I think the evil pea needs to use kind hands. He didn't use kind hands when he pushed the vegetables into the dip. He didn't use kind hands when he trapped them in the cage. No! So he needs to use kind hands. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to draw the P. But this time he's going to have a smiley face because he's friendly. We're teaching him how to be friendly. I'm going to give him a smiley face now. He looks nice and friendly now, doesn't he? I'll give him his cape. And I'm going to draw a picture of kind hands. Now he's got green hands, so I'm going to use a green colour.
And just so he remembers, I'm going to write the word hands, hands. And so the P needs to have kind hands. Fantastic. Now, for your activity, I'd like you to pause this video and go and get some paper and something to write with. And then I'd like you to make a poster for the evil P to show him how he needs to behave. I've given you one kind hands. What could he learn from Sue Potato? Maybe he could be helpful. Maybe he could be caring. Another one. Pause the video and get a pencil, and paper, and some crayons if you've got some. And number two, talk to your helper about what choices evil people could make that would be friendly. Put them into your poster. Off you go. Hello reception, welcome back. Oh, I am so excited to see the work that you have done. Please send me pictures. Now I'm going to quickly finish mine off. Let's see if you got anything similar to me or anything different. So I think to be friendly, the evil P could say hello and smile. So I'm going to draw a picture of the P with a really big smile on his face. You ready? There he is. Do a really big smile. <laughs> Don't forget his cape. And then I'm going to draw a speech bubble like this. And I'm going to write hello. Hello. So the evil P would be very friendly by saying hello to the other vegetables instead of putting them in a cage. And then the last thing that I think the, veggie, the, the evil P could do is he could help. And that's something you are very good at in reception. So I'm going to draw a picture of the P with a box because maybe he could help the vegetables to clean up after all the mess that he's made. his big friendly smile and his cape. Don't forget the cape. And then I'm going to draw a box. Get these things in. And I'm going to write the word help. So today you've learned and you've helped me teach the evil P what's friendly and what's unfriendly. And we've taught him the different things that he could do to be friendly and make the right choices. Well done, reception. <laughs>